Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about how to connect Oracle database from Windows 10 to Oracle 12 c database on CentOS 7 by using Oracle Client for Microsoft Windows. What we need to have it done? First, you need to have a Linux machine, CentOS 7, and install Oracle 12 c database on the machine. If you have not installed the Oracle 12C database yet, please go to check my previous video how to install Oracle 12C on CentOS 7. Second, you need to have the Windows 10 client and we need to go to download the Oracle database client for Microsoft Windows on Oracle website. I will show you. We go to Google. Okay, Oracle database client for Microsoft Windows. Here we need to download the Oracle database client for Microsoft Windows. This file I have already downloaded and put in my window machine here. Okay, now let's install it. Run as administrator. IT and resetter. Right. 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 Okay, install. Okay, the installation of our client was successful. Close. It was created this app folder after the installation. We will go to uh, config later. Okay, now let's go to the CentOS 7 machine. On CentOS machine, we gonna Disable the firewall. Create user in Oracle database. Grant permission to that user and start the listener. So now let's go to check the firewall. I log in as root. System. Status. The firewall is running. So let's disable it. Check the status once again. Okay, the firewall is inactive now. I log in as Oracle. I start the listener.
the listener support, no service. The listener support service will start automatically if you are using port 1521 when you start up the Oracle database. So now let's start up the Oracle database. Okay, I see. Let's check the status of the listener. Status. You see, now the service is ready. Let's go to the Oracle database again. I will create the user and grant the permission. I won't create the table space because I already created once before. I will put the link to download this document on the description. So now copy. Copy this. Before we go add user, we have to alter session set oracle script to true and pass. Okay, user creating. One more thing. We need to grant the permission to the user. Copy. Pass. Okay, easy. Let me try to log in as the user. Oracle 1 slash Oracle 1 and okay. It means the user has been created successfully. Next. Let's go to check the TNS name file. App Oracle Product. Find the MacBook folder. Okay, admin. Log in as root TNS name the aura. Okay, we have to copy this and pass it in the window. Now let's go to window machine here. Go to app folder, client, my window, network, admin, and sample. We copy this file, copy. 
help you. Pass in the admin folder. Open it. Go to ZenOS. Copy this. Pass it here. Here I want a lower case. Your call host will have to put the Zeno S IP address. Okay, sale. Let's open the net manager to test the connection. Oh, here, connection test. I try to test with the user I just created. Okay, test. You see the connection was successful. Okay. Now let me try to log in from window by using the actual plus Oracle one at the TNS name password. Now I have connect from window ten to Oracle twenty on Sun OS successfully let me try to test okay this is the result from the Oracle database thank you for watching Please help like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you.